cutaneous adverse reactions are undesirable clinical manifestations to a drug which include predictable or unanticipated side effects with or without systemic involvement common type of cutaneous adverse drug reactions are classified into two non severe and severe in non severe and classification there are two types fixed drug eruption and maculopapular exanthomosis reactions in maculopapular exanthomosis reactions categorized into four types then in severe card it comes under drug induced hypersensitivity acute generalized exanthomosis fasciculosis angioedema anaphylaxis erythema multiforme steven jones syndrome toxic epidermal necrolysis drug rash with isnophilia and systemic symptoms potentially life threatening systemic adverse reaction onset 2 to 6 weeks after start of drug intake the rash may continue to progress weeks to months after discontinuation of the drug commonly observed with anticonvulsants dapsone allopurinol abacavir etc when to suspect drug syndrome exposure to a high risk drug clinical presentation fever rash leukocytosis with eosinophilia lymphadenopathy hepatorenal dysfunction features of the rash involves greater than 50 percentage body surface area facial edema discomization dusky erythema occasionally pustules and targetloid lesions may be seen management primary care withdraw drugs assess vitals stabilize the patient and refer to higher center symptomatic relief antihistamines emollients do not add any unnecessary new medication then secondary care same as primary care cbc absolute eosinophilic count lft renal function monitored at least weekly chest x ray ecg echo to rule out myocarditis treatment if no evidence of major organ involvement first line systemic steroids prednisolone 0.5 to 2 mg per kg slow tapering after symptoms and signs resolve antihistamines phenyramine 25 mg tad bland emollients like liquid paraffin if there is a severe organ involvement liver renal or cardiac refer to tertiary center for multidispensary intensive care tertiary care same as primary and secondary second line cyclosporine management will require a multidisciplinary team approach depending on the organ involvement in the presence of severe liver failure gastrointestinal bleeding multi organ failure the patient may require intensive care treatment steven jones syndrome acute severe mucocutaneous reactions associated with epidermal detachment or tenderness and widespread erythematous lesions with central dusky erythema or vesiculation often associated with high grade fever usually observed with aromatic anticonvulsants allopurinol nevirapine abacavir nsaids cotrimazole the classification of sjs tn is based on the extent of detachment diagnosis usually staphylococcal scarlet skin syndrome pembigus prognosis assess prognosis with a scorten score done within 24 hours of presentation and repeated 3 days after and the prognosis usually calculated on the basis of age greater than 40 years tachycardia 120 bits per minute neoplasia initial uh, detachment of the skin serum urea greater than 60 mg per deciliter serum bicarbonate and blood glucose levels investigations investigations for this are arterial blood gas abg chest x ray ecg laboratory test cbc lft kft electrolytes magnesium phosphate lactate blood gas analysis microbiology pus culture from infected area and blood culture skin biopsy not usually required unless the diagnosis is in doubt optional 
biopsy and direct immunofluorescence is useful to rule out SLE and pembigos. Management Primary care We draw drugs, assess vitals, stabilize the patient and refer to higher center. Symptomatic relief, antihistamines, emollients, do not add any unnecessary new medication. Secondary care, assess vitals, stabilize the patient, nutrition and fluid replacement as appropriate. Local care of the skin and mucosa, skin care. Detached epidermis can be left in situ and covered with non-adherent dressing. Topical antibiotic on slough of areas, oral care, rinse mouth with chlorhexidine 2 to 3 times, soft paraffin on lips as needed, steroid mouthwashes, eye care, antibiotic, broad spectrum antibiotic to cover staph, streps and pseudomonas, change according to the culture result and avoid suspected drug class, adjuvant systemic therapy, the role of Systemic steroids is limited to early phase of SSATEL. High dose for long period can increase the risk of sepsis and metabolic complications. However, judicious use of prednisolone 1 to 2 mg per kg or equivalent dose of intravenous dexamethasone for 3 to 7 days may be benefit. Cyclosporins in a dose of 3 to 5 mg per kg for a period of 10 to 14 days. If skin detachment greater than 10 percentage, refer to a center with a ICU familiar with management of skin failure. If less than 10 percentage, follow the treatment as described. Tertiary care, admit in specialized unit within dermatology wards if vitals are stable and follow secondary care treatment. Barrier nursing, if patient has SIRS, sepsis or shock, Admit to ICU. Long term follow up will be required to address complications of thalamic, skin, and respiratory tract involvement.